Hey guys, what's up? I was going to try and do the Schneider Soul Gazer game and Tala High game at the same time, but it's too much. So I'm just going to start with this. I'm just going to do this game. Um, we got a balanced team from Tala and a bit more of a bulky offensive team from High. Interesting stuff like DNC plus Volcarona, Mega DNC plus Volcarona. Anyway, um, if I had to imagine, this is probably a Z guard chomp from Tala, given how he brought it in. So that could be threatening. I'd imagine those quick rocks, however. Um, but let's wait and see what happens. Um, could be an H fest tornado. Just looking at the team, just because threatening chomp is nice. But anyway, that's just thirteen. Um, it's gonna reveal that yeah, it is Z. Um, I imagine it goes Lando or Finny, probably Lando. All right. Anyway, yeah. Um, so my team thankfully won today. Um, I won my game. Zora Dark won his game. And Genesis got a bit fortunate, but also won his game, so that's nice. Anyway, we're going to see a Swords dance here. So I'm in a pretty good mood, but I just can't go to the library for another couple hours, so I'm just trying to stick around for matches and whatnot. Um, anyway, Landers in for high. Um, it should live a plus one Z Stone Edge, but not too comfortably, I'd say. Um, it's likely Scarf in this structure. Yeah, if I had to guess, it's Scarf on the Landris. Mega Dancy with Stealth Rocks, and Z Volcarona, Rocky Helmet Tornadus, Assault Vest Magirna, and Deepak Trini. Anyway, he goes for Rocks. But he takes an earthquake that does well over um, half his remaining health, and also just a bit over half his total health. If I have to guess, um, the play for Tala is just Landorus, and Finny double for high. I was just going to earthquake again. I don't like that. But I get it. It's the safe play, so fair enough. Um, anyway, this Landorus from Tala is probably Scarf. So if I have to guess, the Finny is the play. No, no, the, the Landorus. The, the, yeah, the Finny is the play, sorry. If he needs to play from Landorus, because you don't want to risk it being Stone Edge and catching the Tornadus. Yeah, he's going to do that. You don't think the Finny terribly healthy here. Um, a lot of this game is going to be determined by what the Volcarona set is, as if it's hard-walled by the packs. That's not great. Anyway, power up here. Um, oh, what's Wood saying? Oh, it looks like Soulgaze is popping off. Anyway, um, okay, we've got time to let's pop. Let's see what happened here. Um, crook lead on Nape. He's going to scout. You can go Crook back, Edge. Stealth Rock Taunt. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Cool, cool to cook set. Anyway, um, yeah, so Tala is in um on the back foot here, unless this is Gyro Ball, which we'll be able to get a kill. Um Alright, so yeah, it's not Gyro Ball, um, it's just Leech Seed. So that means that the rocks are off and the guard jumps low, which is really nice considering he's got the Volcarona. Um Anyway, I just think the issue is making progress in this game, as packs could be incredibly hard to break. Although, maybe it's a shift gear? No, I don't think it's shift gear again. I think it has to be a solid bust. So, like, your ways of pressuring it are, like... I don't think this is taunt, even. It's your turn. Yeah, I don't know. Um, these two did play in Snake, and Hala actually brought a team very similar to High's right now, and High won that game. So maybe it's going to be kind of a that reverse tail this time. Well, let's check the U. Crayon and uh, yeah, Soul Gazer is fire. I love this dude. Anyway, um, yeah, so looking at this, um, I think the matchup kind of inherently favors Tala, but letting his rocker take damage leaves him really vulnerable to potential psychic moves on um, the Volcarona. That would be huge. He's going to go to McGearney here on a spike. What did SG do here? Did he earthquake? He earthquake. He earthquake that killed, didn't he? Yeah, oh my god. Soul Gazer just go. I'm convinced. Oh, he goes to this HP fire. Yeah, all right. So it's a salt vest. Um. So yeah, it's a salt vest. That does a mere thirty-three. Probably feeling that. Um. Actually, it might be physically defensive even that damage. Hmm. All right. Let's wait and see. Um. Let's wait and see. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what is going on in this Yu game? The whole chat's going nuts over it. Oh, so you're just like, I thought I canceled each you. Oh, baby. <laughs> so it's cancel fucking work. That's crazy. Anyway, that, that's why everyone in the chat's going, you can't even fucking see, but I'm, I'm like reacting. Don't mind me. Anyway, Torn is a nice play. This is Torn or Finny. He goes Torn. He takes a Skulk Burn, though, so that's unfortunate. Um, He's going to be able to get at least a Defog or a Knock off here. Um, a Knock on the Ferrothorn could be nice. This is at full. But he does get a free lead off against anything. 
Yeah, this is almost definitely not Heat Wave. Sorry, let me rephrase that because I was yawning. This is almost definitely not Heat Wave. He's going to go to Latias. A defog here would be good. Yep. So then it's going to be a defog. He's going to get a U-turn here. Um, U-turn, yeah. It's just a mere 11% after the burn, unsurprisingly. Um, I imagine he just goes to the Mijuni here, just trying to bolt switch out and figure out the set. But he could go Deancey. I just wear T-Wave. Uh oh, come on. Okay. Um, so Mega Moonblast should be doing around half now. I imagine Diamond Storm does probably a slight a bit less. Um, but honestly, um, I don't know if Tal wants to risk this, but, um, could just win the 1v1 and potentially run away with this game if he wins the speed tie here. And we're going to see, sorry, just like screen kind of lagged. I was turning the, um, brightness up. Oh, Moonblast is going to crit on the recover. That fucking sucks for Tal. Like, God damn it. Um, wow. All right. So this game is now really different. Um, first and foremost, um, I'm not too fond of the recover play, quite frankly. Um, as he was at like 89, right? Yeah. So I don't get recover, but the crit sucked regardless. Personally, I would have either commanded or attacked again or switched, but it is an awkward position. I guess he thought he was going to lose it. I don't know, man. What the fuck? I, I, okay, so recover was a misplay from Tala, but. I think he knew to calc, and he might have been like, okay, I could live too if I recover later, maybe? I don't know, but that's pretty fucking so badly. I mean, the odds were in Deancey's favor probably win the 1v1, honestly. Assuming it's only attack with stored power, maybe? I I'm not sure. But, um, especially if it was attack invested Diamond Storm, I I'm genuinely not sure, but yeah, um, that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna, um, calc something real quick. As you turn into Deancey, nice play from high. Sorry, I'm back. Um, so he um, gets rocks up, but then trade spikes with the Volt comes in. Um, okay. Yeah, hi. Um, really nice play there staying in there. U turn was fairly predictable, though, to be fair. Um, if this is a psychic move, then I don't think it mattered a ton anyway, because a lot of this would have just had to win. In order to dodge a lot of crit and drop opportunities. Uh, let's see what's going on in Yu-Gi-Oh real quick. You focus blasted. Okay. And go molt. I guess it was scared of like a physical set or U-turn. Flames us 32. Tentacle. Knock. Toxic spikes. Ligar. Scald. Defog. Scald. No burn. Knock. Earthquake. So just going through this real quick. So it looks like he has a toxic spike up. And this should be in um, flame range maybe. I don't know. I feel like still guys are fucked around a bit. Um. Anyway. The... um. The Volcarona's in here. Um, I'm hoping this is the psychic just to end the game, honestly. I feel bad for Tala, though. That's rough. Hmm. Hmm. Um, all right, sorry, just thinking. Um, so I think the play always is to quit for dance here if you have a psychic. Hmm. I know, let's see what's going on in this. Um, Altaria comes in here. Just oh, he earthquake, then he goes to Moltres. All right, so Toxic Spice, like, I don't know how. Um, I like, oh, this Moltres looks really threatening now. Yeah, okay, so Soulgazer's like got a shot for sure. Alright, so he goes to Landris on a uh, quiver, 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 yeah, quiver. Okay, so this is gonna die. Let's see, goes Pex here. Hmm. Um. With Crook on a 59, 56% flame, is this a Scarf from Ultras? Plus X damage. He's gonna Fire Blast, take out the Landris here. Yeah, we're seeing two Fire types that are four times weak to South by Conan. Anyway, um. He goes to Finny. On the Pharaoh Thorn. Scouting. Interesting. Okay. What's going on in the game? I don't know. I guess people are confused with that play. Everyone in the chat saying, like, what, huh, why? 
But no, that was a good scout from Tala, I would say. Um, I, I don't mind that play. And I think that going Finney is probably fine, considering he has no way of killing the packs. How does he even kill the packs? Like, it's just Lando or Buck. Oh, Lando actually looks great. Yeah, I should have, he should have risked the fucking Ladia. So Lando's earthquake kind of went that shit. What health does Lando add? Um, 100. Yeah, no, fuck. Lando fucks him up. Wait, why did Tala fodder his Landris? Yeah, that's why Earthquake looks so good. Why not just go Pex? I don't know what to think now. This is weird. Oh, shit, that Gligar just dropped to that Super Sonic Sky Strike. Okay, that's why it is. So just not Fire Blast this one, but it makes sense. <laughs> um, anyway, Torn in here just gets it free regenerator. Fair enough. Hmm. Anyway, um, sorry, this is not my best narration. I'm responding to something on Discord right now on my phone. <laughs> I'm kind of sloppy right now, but anyway, um, uh, you turns that's fine, but it kind of negates the extra um, extra health you gain from a generator. I would say, regardless, um, a couple plays here. Vulcan Landris are both okay. I wouldn't really want to go Landris necessarily because you're taking damage in Earthquake and it looks so good. But at the same time, ah. Uh, See, uh, look at how good Earthquake is. I just don't know if letting it get down to 65 for no real gain is great. Um, yeah, that was a good knock. I would have done that to begin with. And now he's leeching. Yeah, okay. And I feel like at this point, um, you could probably just go Magirna. I don't see. I don't like letting this get weakened because now Scald is actually threatening. Like. Scalds from fucking text like, can twit kill this, and Garchomp's Z-move can kill this after, like, a rock or two. I don't know. I just feel like, given how threatening... Earthquake is the win condition here, right? So I don't know about that. Um, hmm. This is gone on you, you. Edge. Yeah, Edge is all tired. That was a nice play. He's going to U-turn into Nape. Um, but now Moltres gets a kill. Yeah, that's smart. He's going to go Landris here. And Spike, what are we doing? What What is the game plan here? I don't really understand what High's plan against this Ferrothorn is right now. I feel like High's team is kind of bad, honestly. Like, it loses to Ice Coco. It's annoyed as fuck by Pax. Ferrothorn, low-key dicks it. <laughs> You're still going to win. I, I, I don't know why you knocked there. Anyway, you could kind of live forever, though, right now with Torn. Now it finally goes to Volk. On a leech, and he doesn't need this health at all. Like, what are you even trying to tank with this? So now you threaten this out, you force in the packs. Now you go Finny Orlando, he goes Finny on a uh, Pax. Okay, um, is this knock Finny? That would be nice. Um, however, he's gonna go to uh, maybe it's nature's map. Oh, whirlpool. Okay, interesting. That makes a lot of sense in this team, actually. I fuck with it. Um, what's happening here? He's gonna Z up oh, homies. That's gonna do like probably 45. 53, Jesus. And the Hurricane's gonna miss, that sucks. Nasty plot on. Hurricane, okay, yeah, that, that works out anyway. That was a good play by Schneider, too, just to try and fish for it. Anyway, now the crit comes in. He's probably gonna suit. Um, no, he's not gonna suit. He's gonna knock into the Fodder Altaria. I don't know why I'm narrating both these games now. I said I wasn't gonna do that. Um, now he goes to Moltres, and Moltres should just roost here. There's no way knock kills. You get the flame body potentially, and if you roost, you're healthy enough to live a pursuit later on. So that's good, and Phil gives his position is great now, I would say. He just has to hit moves. Well, it doesn't even have to. Flamethrower hits them all. Yeah, no, Flamethrower kills shit. Okay, so Phil gives should win this. Taunt, anyway, on the Finny. Um, you see, look, look at Earthquake. Look at what Earthquake does against Tala's team, finally. And I don't know why he doubled to Magirna there. That made no sense. He should have stayed in with Pharaoh, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, he's going to take out this and look at this earthquake. It just it fucking runs through. And then just earthquake again. Yeah, exactly. Just 36. He's going to leech. And then you switch out and you're fucking born. And he's going to leech. Actually, you could earthquake. Nah, I don't want to scratch my because leech plus whip could kill. He goes to Torn. That's just foolproof. <laughs> Defog there. Okay. But does this even live? It's Rock Helmet. Probably should. Um, oh, you go Deante. Your Deante is foolproof. Yeah, you turn to Deante. Yep. Yeah, and now that clinches it. Oh, Blunder versus Amir is next. I'm just going to make this one big ass recording, I think. Um, shit. Blunder's got some fucking. I see what they brazzy shit loaded up with Zard. Um, a lot of Finny in SM, not bad. Oh, it's SG good. I guess I'm just going through all these. Roost, Flame, yeah, game's over. It looks like Soul Gears is going to win. Does that make it 6 4 for the Bigs? Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like. Tala is just going to say good game. He got uh, Yareth Power up in this cleans. So yeah. The high is going to win. That's one game under. Soul Gazer is going to win. That's two games under. Yep. All right. So now we get the Blunder game. Um, anyway, yeah, we got a cool um, Finny Zard team from Blunder. I kind of wonder if it's X or Y. Um, anyway, we're going to see a Rocky Helmet. Um, oh, so this is like the cool ass um, sand balance team from Amir. Um, it's Mega Zam. Probably. I don't think it's Megatar here. It's um probably especially defensive packs. It could be Avitar or it could be Rockstar. Let's wait and see. Anyway, he goes just he just goes packs here. And the Finny? Yeah, and the packs. Alright, that's fine. The Blunder's got a Rocks advantage right now, but he can oh it's um probably Pyapa Berry on this packs. Uh it could be Shadow too. He's gonna go Alakazam on the taunt. Just trying to get a mega off, I had to guess. Fire off uh psychic. He's gonna do about 40, 45. It does 46. Oh shit, we got another OU. Oh, all the games are happening right now. We got Spectre versus Mana V. Alright, I'm just gonna bounce, man. Fuck it. And anyway, that Moonblast was 41. So that's uh um, it should, should be 1v1 win for um the Alakazam. Anyway, he's gonna go to drill instead. Um this could be Z move drill. Um No leftovers yet. Z move drill. Um Did you go for it here? I guess. Um Anyway, Greninja's going to come in on a... Of course, you're going like 60, 70. Uh, yeah, so that's a weakened ass Greninja. But Greninja's not too vital in this matchup with Pax plus Tar, I would say. Um, anyway, um, let's see this game. Uh, Man has got a, kind of a bulky offense. Interesting. He's got Tashi plus gear. Usually you only see one or two of those, but that probably indicates some um, shift gear gear. Um, he's got kind of a, a Zygarde metagame, kind of bulky offensive balance. Mid mid game court, mid, mid Middle of the team court, too, with Tangrowth. Or Ninja Chomp, just solid team in general. Um, Spectre's rocking some cool Magnus on ship, but Magnus doesn't trap anything. But look at um, Medicham's match. Medicham just kicks through if it gets in safe. Issue is getting it in safe. Anyway, um, I imagine we should see Tang or, fin or Pex here. Anyway, okay. All right, that's going to be the play. He's going to go Tang. Um, we're going to see Zard on Pex. Nice play there from Amir. Um, he's going to Dragon Dance on uh, this dangerous Toxic Spikes. Okay, you got a Haze here. It crit and it killed. Oh, that really fucking sucks for Amir, man. Ah, that's really bad. Yeah, now now this game's gonna fall apart quickly. He goes Landris, he's forced to EQ. Yeah, I I don't I don't know if this is way out of it necessarily. He rocks, sure. But this might be fog, man. I don't know. Okay, long sleep, gets to recover. Is he gonna shadow ball here? Uh hidden power, ice. Ah, that's cool. And yeah, ship gear comes in. Ice beam on this. All right, so this is a nice play. Nice play. Um, is he gonna go and try and what? What? what why Landers? What? On a focus. Okay, never mind. Nice play there from Amir. Let's see what's going on in this game. All right, we're gonna see uh, lead chomp. Uh, all right, nice, nice sequence there from Amir. Uh, he bounced back. I think Amir's playing nicely. Um, the issue is that the Landers is um still asleep. Um, he's gonna probably U-turn here if I had to guess. So just to get a big advantage of it. Yeah. All right. So now the Zam does work. No, Zam does nicely. Um, I Shadow Ball here. Actually, no, he doesn't have Shadow Ball. Sorry, I take that back. Um, I think I just Psychic here, then. He's probably going Rachi, honestly. But he could go Gear. Gear's probably Shift Gear. Actually, it's cool. Both of the um, Pirates are using... Both Jirachi and Regina. Are both using anything else? Not really. Uh, yeah, no. Mega Chomp. Oh, shit. It's dope. Draco. Oh, 
<laughs> that's fire right there. Oh, man. Anyway, that just killed him. All right, and then Drachi comes in on a psychic. He's going to take 13%, but he's just getting chipped down. Shit, the gear's going to double in on the Tangrowth. All right. Tar comes in on Ice Beam. Are we going to see um, Focus? He's going to take it out. All right, so now you go to Drill. I don't know. This game's kind of fall apart still. It's hard without the packs. It's still hard without the packs. Um, if I'm Blunder, I kind of consider staying in here, but I ultimately don't. I think you just go Lando in, right? Yeah, because it's that last turn of sleep. You probably spin here, Firmier. You. He's going to Iron Head. All right, that's fine. Uh, spin shouldn't kill, though. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he's going to Iron it again. But he's faster than anything now this turn, too. So the Finny, uh, Finny does take poison. That's worth noting. Um, I think you just really click here. Maybe he defies. Oh, Sword Dance that works. On a skull, it can't burn. It does leave it at 6%. So it could live another rocks if it really wants to. Um, I imagine just Earthquake here because it's, it's everything. Actually, look at the Earthquake from this lander. The issue is it's not Scarf, I don't think. Um, yeah, this is kind of hard. Um, you can't let the Zardex get a free turn. That's the thing. Anyway, let's get back to this game. Um, Genetic Jam picks a kill off here at least. So that's something. Um, and in this game, Exodus picks a kill off here. So that's something. But the Sharks players both look like they're kind of. On the back feet to the Tyrant Spires, I would say. Um, hmm. Let's wait and see. Um, sorry, just respond to a Snapchat real quick. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Um, Waiting to see what happens in this turn here. It's pretty important. You're going to go to Torn. Um, is that going to die to an Ice Punch? I feel like it is. It's going to live a high jump kick, rather. He's going to fight off the Zardax. Okay, that's nice, actually. Jirachi. Wait. Yo, wait. No, Jirachi eventually can heal wish to Grand, and that kind of wins. <laughs> Blunder's asking about man. In the chat, that's fine. Hmm. All right, so yeah, this might have been a mistake for me to get all these games. I'm just kind of overwhelmed right now. Shit, that Geek did a lot. Um, he's gonna have to hit a focus blast here, probably. Unless it's Z Flare, that should just knock it out. But honestly, I would consider going Pax here. Yeah, no, Pax is fine. Um, he goes drill on the shift gear. Oh, fuck. All right, yeah, Blunder wins. Yeah, no. That's wrap. I should have seen that coming a bit earlier. Anyway, um, that's game. So Blunder's going to advance like seven and no, six and one. Yeah, six and one. Blunder's fire. Yeah, I, yeah, yep. That's game over. Uh, so he's going to just take corkscrew. What? What are we corkscrewing into? Hello? Ah, uh, that was that was nonsense, man. That that didn't do shit. Anyway, the zone's gonna get, get rid of that. Um, now he does get a potential kill with Chomp. Um, I think he's just staying with Mag here, honestly. <laughs> All right, this should be the last game of this recording. So I'm getting fucking tired, man. I imagine just clicks on Fraun. I was going to say Earthquake, but I saw Rocks. I was like, Rah, I don't know. But earthquake. I thought it was just going to Earthquake, but Rocks is fine. Um, does he risk Twin here? Twin might live um, a hit from non Earthquake, honestly. Because it's fucking Mega Chomp. It's kind of strong, but it's not like Life War boosted or anything. I don't know where the investment goes on it either. Hmm. Anyway, um, this still looks good for Manaphy, I'd say, though, yeah. He's going to Draco. It's going to live, though. Oh, shit. Nice play. Why would you Thunderbolt? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why not Flash Cannon? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I whatever. Uh, I don't get that. 
quite frankly. Yeah, I don't know why it's under both. Does someone understand that? Since I don't get it. Hmm. Um, all right, so anyway, the Greninja comes in nicely there. But, um, but the Tornadoes is still there. Hmm. Uh, Greninja's gonna switch out, and the Hurricane is gonna... Oh, it's not even gonna kill this. What the fuck? No, Jirachi on another Hurricane? Okay. Interesting sequence there. I'm not, I'm not sure what to think of these plays, honestly. Hmm. Iron Head's gonna crit! Rocky Helmet! No, flinch. Oh, flinch. Yep, flinch. So did you go Magnus on here, or did you stay? That's a hard play. Um... Wait, Magnuson's like dead, man. Fuck. Oh, right. You just fought a Magnuson here, no, no matter what. Yeah. She's going to do that. Hmm. Um. Shit, though. Um. Now he goes Pex. Um. How do you. If he fucking killed the goddamn Garchomp like he was supposed to. He's not like he's fucking healing wish to it. And this Pex would have freaking went in, man. I'm, I am I really just like that Thunderbolt play. That was bad, man. He goes to freaking, um, he gets a burn on this. All right, so he gets a burn on the AV, um, blech, excuse me, the AV, um, Tango. Yeah, I think the Pex actually does nicely here. It's just a matter of if this is heal wish Man, I, I don't know why he flash cannon. That was so bad. Ugh. Hmm. Let's check in Discord. I'm trying to see if anyone said a reason why he flash cannoned. So I feel like I have to be missing something. Why he Thunderbolt did not flash cannon, rather. Sorry, I'm just still asking my chat about the flash cannon. Okay, yeah, no one knows why. Um, so I'm just drawing the conclusion that it's the garbage play. But anyway, that that just getting burnt actually helps. Oh, fuck! I want to stop narrating, but there's another game. Oh, I am so not narrating this. <laughs> Look at this shit. We got Wish Killer versus Ben Gay stall with the promo bat. I am so making a meme out of this. Ah, fuck, man. Uh, don't mind me. All right. Um, shit. Um, all right. So Medicham comes in now. That's great. A roll for. Ah, uh, I don't know. Roll might be a roll for high jump kick too. Honestly, it's eighty-five. Ice punch. What? I. But. Uh, I don't know, man. So let's go with this. Okay, I, I don't know if I agree with this prioritization. Hmm, you go for Dark Pulse. Uh, flinch, that sucks. Yeah, game's over. All right, wrap. Yeah, never. I'm not narrating this letter of the first Ben Gay game, by the way. But I might post a meme about it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, game's over. So man is gonna win. I'm just gonna end this recording now. It's been forever. I've been a bunch of games, but yeah. Um. Good games. I don't see a way out. Um, it's not 82, actually. I'll, I'll wait it out. I'll wait it out. Fine. I'll wait it out. Um, maybe he goes torn? I don't know about that. Um, you know, this is definitely over. All right. Peace. Good games.